says it takes everyone getting involved. In fact, she calls it rebuilding the village. If we want to save our youth, we're talking about kids from falling victim to gun violence. She's calling on more people to step up. Yeah, he gives us our stats at each meeting. Michelle Mosby shows me her action plan to fight gun violence. We did a survey to see how we could reach the youth. The community advocate feels motivated to step up following Richmond's first juvenile murder of the year. But it hurts! It hurts! 17-year-old <laughs> Deshaun Cox, an Armstrong High School senior who was shot and killed last Thursday in the city's East End. No arrest yet, but police now releasing an update in the case. They need your help finding this blue-green Toyota Avalon, which they say may have been used in connection to Cox's death on Jenny Cher Road. Deshaun has been one of too many. It is somebody's child, which makes it our child, and we need to be doing something. By doing something, she means rebuilding the village, as she calls it. It's a grassroots movement involving nonprofit leaders, mentors, role models, preachers, and business owners offering their time and services to at-risk youth. There is no turnaway for anyone to want to be a part of the village. We're looking for people to come in with your great ideas. Once a foundation of community partners is solidified, Mosby says it's time to press the mayor, police, and council members about how they're trying to stop crime. Some of them have been lighting in dark areas, alleys, alleyways. How do we have conversations with some of our store owners? that you're not allowed to just loiter. All solutions she hopes will be addressed Thursday night at a community meeting called by city leaders in the wake of Cox's murder. No matter where you live, Mosby encourages you to pay attention. We should show that we have an interest in our city as well. That when we see Deshaun, we feel something. Now this meeting is going to kick off at 6 p.m. right here at the Powhatan Hill Community Center. If you have any suggestions, any ideas to try and stop gun violence, even if you just want to come on out and listen and show your support, everyone is invited. Working for you, I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News.